Hey guys, welcome to LMD Home. In today's video, we are gonna be trying something new that I actually saw on YouTube, and that is a one hour speed clean or power clean. Basically, you set a timer for one hour and you get as much done as you possibly can in that time frame. I am really bad about cleaning all day, so I'm gonna try this and we're gonna see how much we can get done. We are starting in the master bedroom today and all I'm doing in here is making the bed. I will vacuum later off camera, but I'm just making the bed. I got this new body pillow that I love to sleep with because my head doesn't roll off of it, but it is kind of a pain to style. So I decided there was too much going on. I just threw it on the bench, to be honest. I don't know how I'm gonna style it, but way too many pillows were happening. You're gonna see our dog Zoe hanging out while I'm making the bed in here. And if you're interested in how to style a throw blanket on your bed, I do have a video that I will link down below because I love styling this scarf as a throw blanket on our bed. After the bed is made and the lights are turned on for ambiance, we are going to jump into the master bathroom. I am not doing a deep clean in here. I'm just gonna spray some stuff in the shower, rinse it out later, and get that toilet bowl clean. I am also going to just kind of wipe some surfaces down while I'm waiting on the toilet bowl cleaner to kind of sit and do its job. And this is the Lime Away toilet bowl cleaner from Dollar Tree. I absolutely love it. Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure while we're working and before we switch to the kids' bathroom to do basically the same process, I wanted to tell you about this one-hour speed cleaner power clean. I saw it on Rach Plus 5, one of her videos, and I have never tried it before. And I'm the kind of person that loves the clean home, but I can get wrapped up really quickly in the cleaning process, and it could be hours later. Like, I'll see a spot, I'll want to deep clean, I'll want to do all of the things. And I have to say, this is the first time that I've set a timer and did an hour clean and I absolutely love this. I will be doing this way more frequently because I got so much done. Now, not deep cleaning, but I got so much done in this hour. And that includes moving the camera around and doing all that too. So I highly suggest this one hour power clean. I vacuumed the entire upstairs, including the hallway, and then I'm gonna be jumping back into the bathroom to clean the toilet. Now, I only showed you a few seconds of cleaning one toilet. I don't even know if you guys like to watch people clean toilets. Maybe it's gross, I don't know. But I didn't show you cleaning the kid's toilet. I figured a few seconds of one toilet was enough. You'd get the point I cleaned the toilet. Sometimes I do also take toilet paper and just wipe it down. Now, this might be considered wasteful, but I would use a wipe or something anyway and waste that. So since I was right here with the toilet paper, I figured I would just go ahead and wipe this down. And then when I went to chuck that toilet paper into the trash can, I realized... The trash was overflowing. So I grabbed the trash bag and I emptied the trash in our bathroom, the kids' bathroom, and my beauty room. And you're going to see later I'm going to empty the trash in my office area as well. And I filled up an entire trash bag. That's how full the trash cans were. Now I'm just giving the shower a quick rinse and then I'm going to be spraying some of my homemade Febreze. And stay tuned because later in the video I am going to teach you how to make that homemade Febreze that I saw on a TikTok video. We now moved on to the kitchen, and I just have a lot going on in here. I have a toaster out. I have dishes. I have paint, spackle, paintbrushes. I just need to get everything in here clean, wipe down the counters, and refill my soap dispensers and all of that good stuff, and just get the kitchen straightened up. Again, I'm not doing a deep clean because I only have this hour, but I do want it to look presentable, and I want it to feel fresh and clean in here. I recently bought a pack of these dish towels from Ikea. I will link them down below if I can find them online. It was like $4 for a huge pack of them, and I am absolutely loving them.
I didn't super deep clean my sink, but I did want to give it a little bit of a scrub and a rinse out so it was nice and fresh. And then I had to move on to the other side of the room, cleaning off coffee stains from all over my coffee bar, taking that paint to the garage, putting away this glass container, which doesn't sound like a pain, but you know we lack storage in this house and we're waiting on this kitchen island to be finished. And I have to take like eight things out to put away this one Pyrex pan. So it, it is a pain, but I, I had to do it and just get it done so that we can move on to the living room. I usually start in the living room, but my son was in here doing his summer work and reading for his permit test. He's going to be taking his driving permit test soon. I don't know where the time went and why he is so old. And you are going to see me joke with him a little bit that I needed him to move his um, summer work out of the way and he didn't want to be on camera. So we were just kind of joking back and forth. So I'm just getting this room straightened up. I am going to be vacuuming, straightening the pillows, using some more of that homemade Febreze, and just making the living room feel more inviting, more clean, and a little bit more cozy. That blue bag that you see on the floor is actually from Ikea from like a week and a half ago, and I know myself. I need to take this down to my craft room ASAP, or I will just have it sitting all over the place. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this decor yet, so I'm going straight into my craft closet on my decor side, and I'm going to put it away. I then noticed on my way out, you're going to see my home defense was sitting out. I will link that down below. We love that for bugs. It, it just kills everything. I'm, I'm sorry if you love bugs, but um, we don't like them in our house. So I'm just going to put that by the garage. So when I go out to the garage later, I can just take it with me. And then I am going to throw some towels in the wash because I do have some laundry I'm going to have to do later anyway. There wasn't really much to do in here except for straighten up my desk and dump some of this trash. And then you can see my daughter over there. She is just coloring. She's doing her little art project. It's part of her like summer to-do list that each kids have to do something creative. And she loves to color. So that is what she is doing over there at the dining room table. Let's get into the homemade Febreze. You're going to need a Febreze bottle. You're also going to need some fabric softener. This is my absolute favorite scent. I love this. You're going to need some rubbing alcohol, uh, two measuring cups, a half cup and a fourth cup, and then a funnel comes in really handy so you don't spill everything all over the place. You're going to open your bottle, and then you're going to start with your fabric softener. Now, the TikTok was an entire cup. I use a half cup. I feel like one cup is just too strong for me. And then a fourth cup of rubbing alcohol, and then you're just going to fill the rest up with water and give it a good shake. This saves us so much money because Febreze is ridiculously expensive, and I am still using this same thing of fabric softener, and I have made several, several bottles of this homemade Febreze. I then wanted to clean up all that mess from the homemade Febreze and put it in the dishwasher. And then I'm going to go back upstairs and spray that beautiful scent around a little bit. My daughter did have some clean laundry, so I just wanted to sort that, and I'm going to put that into her closet. I usually make outfits for her, but since she is kind of running around today, she's reading in her room and doing all that stuff, I didn't want to disturb her um, in case she wanted to come up and hang out in her room. So I'm just going to put the things away, and I'll make, I'll make the like little set outfits later. I got so I don't care about no gold. Better, so much better, flipping, incredible. Always on the show. 
At this point, my hour is about up, so we're gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you found it helpful and entertaining. Please make sure you check out the video and the playlist on the screen. And as always, smash that subscribe button to become part of our YouTube family. And please let us know in the comments if you have ever tried this one hour speed power clean. And if you haven't, if you will be trying it in the future. I am definitely doing this way more often. It was super helpful and I absolutely loved it. And we love you guys. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.